So we do have uh, some new weather news to report oh. to you. It's not great. I mean, I wish that I was saying it's going to be sunny, beautiful, and perfect <laughs> all day today. But a high wind warning was just issued by the National Weather Service, mainly north north toward Fort Collins. Okay. And then the northeastern plains also under a red flag warning, which means fire danger, a concern once again. We, we knew the wind was coming. so The wind is coming. It is here in some spots. So just hold on to your ball caps this afternoon. Our radar and satellite as we take a look outside, as you can see that storm system swirling north through Wyoming. We're getting the tail end of that. So we saw scattered snow showers early this morning. We'll see high winds, especially north toward the border through this afternoon. Here's a little bit closer of a look at exactly what we're experiencing right now. Right now near Red Feathers Lakes, we're getting that snow rain mix and then rain showers moving through Greeley across the northeastern corner of Colorado, and then some light scattered snow showers north of Glenwood Springs, scooching through some portions of Aspen Mountain. But here's the view from Vail, a nice little coating of snow early this morning. A lot of our ski resorts could use that as we head into our closing days because it's pretty slushy out there. Near Sterling, we're seeing those clear skies, so nice and dry across the plains and looking out over City Park from the Museum of nature and science. It's a very beautiful start to our morning, so hopefully you can get out and enjoy it. Right now we're in the low 50s, but the winds, those are definitely going to be a concern for you later on, depending where you are. Longmont already last recorded wind gust at 43 miles per hour. Extremely breezy there in Broomfield, up through the passes, and then a little bit further south near Littleton and Castle Rock. It's pretty calm right now there, and in Parker, winds about 10 to 15 mile per hour gusting. 24-hour planner, though, as you head into about 1 o'clock, will be in the mid to upper 50. So if you or some of you know, maybe heading to the Rockies game, first pitch at 110 will be in the mid 50s. Plenty of sunshine, but the winds, those will pick up from the west northwest, gusting up to about 20 to 25 miles per hour in Denver through about 5, 6 o'clock. Clear skies, though, overnight, and our temperatures about 5 degrees below normal. Outside right now, Colorado Springs at 56. Across the plains, we're in the low 50s. Already seeing 60 degree temperatures in Pueblo and Lamar. So a pretty warm start to the day down to the southeast. But in our mountains, different story. Steamboat at 27, Eagle already at 41, but a little bit, bit further south in Aspen at 34. Here's your front range forecast. Today we'll see a mix of sun and clouds, winds, but also dry conditions. Greeley and Fort Collins both in the upper 50s, Boulder mid 50s, and out at the airport at DIA 53. High temperatures elsewhere as you look into the foothills we're in the 30s and 40s we'll see increasing cloud coverage for our mountains very windy conditions across the foothills and then throughout the plains especially near Sterling up through Greeley and Fort Collins really really windy so just be careful throughout the course of the afternoon. High temperatures gradually rise to the upper 30s in Steamboat under a mostly cloudy sky. Snow chances and snow accumulations really won't amount to too much. We're looking at about one to three inches tops in spots as the storm system skirts through our state. Akron and Lyman both in the low 60s. Burlington though getting up to the mid to upper 60s this afternoon. Our future cast as we head throughout much of the day today. This is stopped at 2:30. As you can see, much of the moisture staying in our northern uh, front range mountains and down through the central mountains near Aspen and through portions of Vail. We have the potential of picking up a little bit more snow. So if you are heading out doing any skiing or snowboarding, don't be surprised if you see cloudy conditions and snow. But across the plains, as you can see, not dealing with much in the way of any moisture, but also very windy, mild, dry, then that storm system moves off to our east. So Monday into Tuesday, we're left with pretty mild, dry, nice conditions, and we're not dealing with much in the way of inclement weather really all next week. The winds as we go throughout the afternoon, I'll show you your wind forecast, really picking up by 5, 6 o'clock, by 7, as you can see, uh, wind gusts up to about 40 to even 50 miles per hour. Things will calm down throughout the course of the evening, and then by tomorrow, we're left with a pretty calm start to our morning, and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, really all into Friday. It's looking pretty nice. We're seeing temperatures in the 60s, gradually climbing to the 70s. So it'll be warmer above normal to round out our work week and overnight low temperatures as well, staying pretty mild only in the 40s. So you're going to want the windbreaker today and the t-shirt by the end of the week. All right.